What is up guys? So today's video is gonna be shot at somewhere different. I'm outdoors. Back to my roots from Sociograph. Anyway, before I actually announce the winners of the giveaway, I'm really appreciative of all of you who have you know, left down the comments in my last video and the giveaway video. It makes me happy to see that people still have hope in saving Singapore football. And I really think that the FAS should pay attention to what went down in the comment section. So I'm gonna compile a list of the best comments and I'm gonna send it to the FAS via email or I'm gonna write an article and tag them. Basically, I'm just gonna spam them. I'm gonna keep spamming the FAS and make sure that Team LKT, the newly elected team to run the FAS, does something about it, right? So, here are a few comments that I really admire from some people. Mr. Derek Chetty, who said that stadium facilities should be improved, more opportunities should be given to the youth for the future of Singapore football. I, I, I did touch that stadium facilities are actually run by Sports SG and clubs don't really have much of a say. They need to seek approval from Active SG or something. So maybe that's something that the FAS can come up with, like, I don't know, a deal with Active SG on as to whether they can upgrade the stadium. Uh, you know, make the process easier. End of the day, stadiums are mostly used for football events. Aside from sports day and everything. This is a comment from another YouTuber, Mr. Heavy Metal Pom Zame, who featured in my last video. If you guys haven't checked him out, link is still in the bio below. Check out his channel if you are into pomades and stuff. That's my go-to channel for hair stuff, even though I don't really show much of it nowadays. Anyway, so Zame says, can I win even if I don't like soccer that much anymore? Well, Zame, anything for you, bro. But yeah, I mean, he did say he kids, of course, and I'm gonna give this someone more deserving. Thank you for understanding, Mr. Zami. Another good comment came from HZQJN. I, I'm gonna guess that his name is Hazik or something. If I got it wrong, I'm so sorry. He brought up quite a number of good points, talking about the kids being able to dream far and just to be, you know, to even exceed Fandi Ahmad's achievements and accomplishments. You know, you gotta aim far in order to be far, man. I mean, the sky's the limit. Like, if you want to be a professional footballer, don't just aim to be a professional footballer. Aim to be at the top. You want to be a top level player, a professional player that earns money from his passion, you know. And if, let's say, things don't work out the way you plan, there's, there's always the option of falling back into something. So maybe FAS can also ensure that players can have an avenue or somewhere to go to once life after football is done. Like what Mr. Teo Hock Singh does with a few of his former players like Fabian Kwok and Noel Shah working for him. If we can have more things and opportunities like that for players as career options after football, then why not? Another comment by Mr. Kelvin Chan. He says that the FAS should really start taking a real interest in the local football scene. Listen to the fans, coaches and we really need to go back to the glory days of Singapore football because it's just pathetic nowadays. I agree with a few points from there. The FAS really needs to pay attention more to the fans. For example, right now we're going to be having a friendly with Argentina but three days before that we have an Asian Cup qualifier against Chinese Taipei, also known as Taiwan, for those of you who rather call them Taiwan. Why are we promoting the Argentina friendly more than the Chinese Taipei game when that Asian Cup qualifier is much more important? It's like it holds higher stakes for us. I think the FAS got the priorities wrong there. We need to gather the support for the qualifier match and not for the friendly because as much as the friendly is going to bring in lots of money and people are going to come in to see Messi and everything, it's just not going to work out because at the end of the day, you know people are going to come in Argentina jerseys. All these plastic fan, glory hunting fans. They're just going to come in Argentina jerseys and they're going to try to justify themselves and everything. And it's not going to be healthy for local football. Ultimate Gamer HD says that he thinks Singapore football should take in younger players like Faris Farhan and Iqbal Hussein. That's a well said point, bro. Troublemaker85 to Team LKT. Start listening to the fans. Remember, without fans, football will be nothing. And that's something I really ag agree with. Like, we are the life and blood of football, you know. Football without fans is nothing. We are the 12th men behind the team that we support. And if you fail to get our support, then everything is going to fail. You just have to connect with the fans. Don't live in your own dream world. And like, I'm the president of the FAS. I do what I want. I do what I please without acknowledging the fans and giving us what we want. At the end of the day, if nobody watches local football, you are to blame. Like what he says, we have to, we have to focus on the roots of football, man. Like the grassroots of football, the Island White League, the NFL, Women's Premier League, the S League, Prime League, 
everything has to be in top notch. Also for schools as well, we, we need to have a proper scouting program for young players. Also, no banning flags and drums and whatsoever. That's bullshit, man. You want Singapore football to improve, you want the fans to come, let us create the atmosphere and people will come. Just look at Haugang Stadium. I'm not bragging or anything, but you know, even Geelang International has it. So I'm down to the last comment. This one is the obvious winner, Mr. Wong Kang Tai. He gave me a huge paragraph, man. It was like, I think, 14 points or something. It was, it was huge. I read through the entire thing. I could not believe what I read. I, bro, thank you so much for leaving the comment. That piece of comment itself should be sent to the FAS for them to take note of. You brought up so many good points and I just think that you deserve to win this first giveaway. So for the rest of you who didn't win, the giveaway don't worry there'll be more coming up very soon very shortly sorry to tell you guys that the pin badge is not for sale I've only got a few extras which i'm doing it as a giveaway so I'll, I'll i'll only be giving out one for this round uh, i'll be doing another giveaway very soon in the near future and just keep a lookout for it don't be disheartened because a lot more is going to come to this channel and i'd like to thank all of you for the support for all the things that you know it, it makes me happy to see that Singapore football still has hope. We still have fans who care for Singapore football. That's it man for today's video. Uh, not, not many matches this week. I think I'm going to go for the Sultan of Selangor Cup. I'm going to see the sports school team play against the Singal Selangor school selection. The Legends of Singapore versus the Legends of Selangor. And the Singapore selection versus the Selangor selection. I'm really hoping that Singapore selection at least, you know, has a few of the Haugang United players, like those guys that have been performing. Like maybe Fumia, I think that's a very good addition to have in the team, Mr. Fumia Kogure. And it would be nice to also see uh, Lionel Tan, it might be a good choice for you guys. But you know, team shit isn't out as of the recording of this, but it's going to be out today. I haven't really checked social media much, so I don't know whether it's out yet or not. Once the team list comes out, I'm going to give my thoughts on it, alright? So, I'm Shanif, out. Whoa!